All right, let's get it done. Hey y'all, Fat Man Outdoors. Today is the day. We finally got all our pellets in. We're about to begin our pellet accuracy test to see which of the eight most popular, at least in my area, most popular or easy to get a hold of pellets, the, which ones are the best. We wanna see who's got the best accuracy. Uh, I'm gonna do some impact tests with some clay in another video. Uh, also going to do a blind spot check on 10 out of every can for the weight and inspect them for any kind of damage or deformations but not in this video I'm going to break it up in several videos because if I didn't nobody wouldn't watch this one because it would be like three hours long so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pick four and I'll show you the eight that again this is in my area the ones that I could get more readily alright the first one is Crossman High Velocity. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the ones that are just got a small pellet head and the body is plastic. Now it says these are 20% faster. I've had a lot of people say you'll get flyers with these so I'm going to be interested to see how they, those do. I have H&N Hornets. These are the pellets that I'm really looking forward to shooting because I think these are going to be the ones that I want to use because these things, not only do they look bad, but man, they're going to be penetration hogs with a brass tip or a copper tip, I guess it is. And uh, no, it's a brass tip, what it says here. With a brass tip and that lead body is going to have solid point for penetration and it's going to have a little weight behind it to push it. So gonna be interesting to see on those impact tests on that clay to how that's gonna work out now I have Crossman hollow points everybody's got a pellet rifle at one time has saw these they're, they're they're a pretty regular brand you can find I have another cool looking one Crossman piranha they have the serrations all the way around the hollow point head I'm gonna say those might be pretty good on impact test too I also have Crossman Normal Premier Pointed. Okay. And I have Gamo Tomahawks. I'm, gonna use the, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to these too. Some of these pellets are very expensive and they better perform well for the price that they cost. And then of course the last one that I've got, I think it's the last one, I've got one more after that, is the Field Target Trophy model from H&N. Okay, and then the last one we got is good old flat nose plain Jane, but they say Precision Max Daisy. The cool thing about Daisy, man, out of all these pellets, I think these may have been the cheapest ones that you could get, okay? Uh, but the rest of them, all they do is they just give you that little tin. Daisy gives you a little deal, uh, like a like a ammo pouch that goes on your belt, got a little hangs on it right here you can slide down over your belt I ain't so sure how well that works you just out in the field and, and trying to watch for rabbits or birds or or squirrels or whatever you're shooting and trying to fumble around with that and myself personally I just put some pellets out in my pocket and and, and I know there's a lint issue but that's the best way I've found to this point but anyway that's what we got we got eight stop eight types what I'm thinking is on each of the, the two accuracy videos I'm gonna just pick four different uh, brands or styles of pellets and shoot each one of those five times I've got a target downrange at 25 yards that has the, the one inch diamond four of them on, on op opposing corners so I'll, I'll uh, remember which one I shot where and then we'll mark them and we'll save that and then after we get both of the test done where we've shot all eight pellets then we'll go back with a caliper and we'll measure our shot group and see who shoots the tightest group now this is me doing my part so there could be flyers so I ain't decided yet I'm gonna see how this works out but I may take the farthest outside pellet if they have a flyer away to see because it's human error who knows but uh, what I'm shooting with today is the Gamo Whisper Elite. Uh, it says this gun can get up to 1,300 feet a second, 
and I'm thinking we just might push that with these. Uh, I didn't bring my chronograph with me uh, during these tests because I didn't want to get too technical and stretch the videos out any longer than it has to be. Uh, but I will eventually do a chronograph test with all these two and through this rifle and see which ones shoot what speeds. Uh, and that'll be interesting to do. But uh, guys, I think we've done enough talking. I'm going to get the camera rearranged where it's looking at the target down range. And I'm going to pull me four of these out and we're going to get started. All right, y'all. We're going to start with a clean bore on every firing so I've already swabbed the barrel out and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Daisy 177 these are their permit these are their precision max all right I'll try to go as fast as I can here guys but still get reasonably good shots I don't want to I don't want to mess things up and shoot shots and them not be done the right way. All right, here we go. That was pretty interesting. It must have had some decent velocity right there. Number two. And I am letting this rifle just rest on a shooting bag. And I'm only holding the back end of the stock, just cupping it so it's a true artillery hold for all you purists. The rifle is able to go where it wants. One more shot. Now remember again, I'm holding in the same aim point. We're not worried about if we're hitting the bullseye, what we're Looking for is group size. All right, now I'll swab the barrel out real quick and we'll be right back with the next run of pellets. All right, y'all, the next run of pellets I'm going to use are the Premier Pointed 7.4 grains. Well packaged, the container came not beat up or anything like that. That's going to be important later when I explain something to you. And pellets look nice and clean. We're going to be shooting from a good clean bore. Going to be shooting on the top right target. Now, um, if there's a, another brand of pellets that everybody normally shoots, y'all need to let me know in the comment. And if I can get a hold of them and they're not $50 a can, some of these was ridiculous what I paid for these, then I'll get those as well and test them. Uh, we're trying to decide what we want to do on a rifle first. I don't know if I want to do a... a uh, pressurized canister or if I want to use, continue to just get a better springer. I believe that was number four. I need to stop talking so much and pay attention to what I'm doing.
All right, now I'm gonna clean the bowl again and we'll be back with the next brand of pellets. All right, guys, the next brand of pellets we're gonna use is the, the Field at Target Trophy from H&N. They are supposed to be 8.64 grains. Now this is gonna be interesting because these pellets are quite a bit heavier than the other brands of pellets that that we've used so far. So that's going to make them, it's going to give the penetration a lot better, but I don't know how it's going to help them on accuracy. But who knows, I'm not a, a pellet expert. Now, the reason I brought up about the cans, this is, I believe I give 20, I'm thinking 20 bucks for that can. I'll have to look. I'll post the prices of each one in one of the videos when we do all the other information. But um, And the cans beat the crap. So I know I'm going to find some damaged pellets in this if I, if I dig around in it. But we'll just have to see how that works out. All right. The H&N. What was those again? Field Target Trophy. 8.64 grains. I'm going to be shooting at the bottom left. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the recoil felt different on that shot with these pellets. I wouldn't think no more difference in the grain that would be, but maybe it is. Now, I'm not inspecting these. I'm not making sure I don't load one that's damaged or anything to that effect. I'm blind take taste testing these pellets because if you're hunting, that's the way it's going to be when you're out in the field. You're not going to have time to sort pellets. You're going to be watching for game and then shooting at game when they show up, so. That's four. And again, guys, I picked 25 yards because I figure that's for a decent average. I know a lot of these rifles will shoot a lot farther than that, but for practical accuracy wise, I was thinking 30 at first and then I thought, nah, most of us probably ain't never gonna shoot that far uh, on a regular basis. So, so I thought this would be a much better target distance of 25 yards. All right, let me get the bore swabbed out. All right, guys, I'm back with the Gamo Tomahawk. Now, I've spoken to a few in my area, what I feel are hardcore air gunners, and they all spoke highly of this pellet. And I'll be honest with you, I just opened the can and wow. These pellets have got a lot of stuff going on for them that these other pellets don't have, even that H&N. The body's much longer. It does have a pencil point at the end, and it has a round nose that's sitting in what looks like a cup. So you're going to get all kinds of penetration and some crazy expansion on impact. And like I said, the body of these are much longer than the other three, even the H&N, than the other three pellets that I've shot. This gamma pellet is much longer. So, and the container's real good shape, not beaten, banged up. So, all right, let's, let's get five of these babies sent down range. All right, I'm gonna shoot at the bottom, right target. That's one. I wanted to mention real quick, guys, while we're doing this, we're uh, shooting for 500 subscribers. We like about 60 more. 
If you got any friends that like stuff like this, air gunning, reloading, regular powder guns, black powder, stuff like that, send them our way. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing some fishing stuff real soon also. So uh, if you don't mind, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and if you got some friends that like this sort of stuff, have them subscribe. We'd appreciate it. We're trying to get to 500. Number five. All righty, guys, we'll go down and retrieve that target and get it marked up and stowed away in the gun safe until we can finish up our next four pellets shooting group. Uh, keep an eye out for our next video of shooting these pellets because there's going to be one coming out real soon right behind this one. And then right behind that, we're going to do some impact tests in the clay. And then right behind that, I'm going to do a short video showing the blind 10 test on for damage and comparing uh, advertised weight versus the average weight of what we get. Hey, y'all. If you don't mind, click subscribe. And if you like the video, and click the like button. And we appreciate every one of y'all. And hope to see you in the next video. It's the Fat Man. I'm gone.